Hey everyone, welcome to Power365's Power Shorts. We had a scenario recently that asked the question regarding QR codes and power apps. So on this video, we're gonna take a look at how we use parameters to allow our users to pass between different screens based on the QR code that they scan. The first thing we'll do is we'll swap over to SharePoint. I've already created us an items list and a people's list. These are the two different data sources that we'll use with our QR codes. And I've already created us a blank app in the background. I've renamed the home screen into home and I'm gonna add some data connections to allow us to connect into SharePoint. I'm gonna add both those demo lists in. What I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna add in the Office 365 connector. As based on the QR code, what I'll do is I'll pass a parameter into here and allow that to bring us the Office 365 profile back. Now, I'm gonna jump into the app on start screen. And in here, we need to write some code. So the way that parameters work, once you'll see at the end with the URL, is you pass in a text add-on to the end of your URL. And we're gonna target that with some variables. So I'm gonna say var QR code, and I'm gonna take the parameter that I'm gonna set, and I'm gonna call it QR. What that means is whatever I pass through a URL, after QR equals, will then insert into the variable that I've just taken. And then I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna say var QR, var QR code user. And I'm gonna link in to my Office 365 users. And I'm gonna find the get user or the my user profile. And from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the lookup of my demo people because this is the people list that we're talking about over here. So I've got some people with some IDs. And I'm gonna take it from there, and rather than use the SharePoint column, I'm gonna allow it to pull my Office 365 user profile of that person, because it gives us a little bit more information. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, look up into demo people, where the ID of SharePoint equals my var, oh, I need to make it a value, of my var QR code because it needs to be um, a number to compare with ID. And I'm gonna take it from there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that out and I'm gonna take the person column that I've created and I'm gonna take the email address of that person because that's what I'm gonna to use to look up into Office 365. And then I'm gonna close that one off and I'm gonna come down. So that's my user one done. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly the same except for I'm gonna say it's the var Q QRIT code. I'm gonna press the parameter for QRIT because that will allow us to have a QR code for our people and a QR code for our items in the same app. So I'm gonna close that one off. And I'm gonna do something similar down here where I'm gonna go var QR code item and I'm gonna take the lookup of my demo items where the ID equals the value of my var QR code, var QR IT code. And I'm gonna place that in there. And that will, what we've got here is we've got one that's gonna bring me through an email but do a lookup at the same time into 365 users. And one that's simply gonna bring me the item from SharePoint. Now, what I need to do next is I need to move this over and I'm gonna do a screen swap. I haven't built the screens yet, so we'll add those in. I'm gonna have a user screen and I'm gonna have an item screen. And what I'll do is on the user screen to keep it nice and quick, I'll place a label in and I'm gonna take my var QR code user dot. Now I can take whatever I want. So in here I might put the display name. Let's make it a bit bigger. We won't make this too visually appealing for now just to keep things quick. And maybe I'll also take my job title. Perfect. We'll leave those as is, and we'll do a button here that just maybe takes us home so we can navigate back to the home screen. Not that there's anything on the home screen. And we'll do a screen card. Now on my item screen, what I will now do is I'll add in my label and I'll target my var QR code for my item. And I'll dot in because it's now given me all of the SharePoint columns that I've got. And if I look at what I've got available to me, I've got the ID, the title and the status. So what I'll do is I'll bring through the title and I'll also bring through the status. Dot value because it's a choice field. Perfect. And maybe I'll take this well as well and we'll put this over here so we can go home. 
Amazing. Now we've done the on start code, so we found our data. However, that doesn't switch us across screens. And what we can use is we can go to our app within the tree view and we can use our start screen. And it's in here now that we want to do a, almost a switch statement. If statements work better within the start screen. And I'm going to say that if my, let's do an is blank. So if my QR parameter, sorry, parameter of QR, if that's blank, if that isn't blank, sorry, then we will go to the user screen and we'll do another if is blank the parameter of my QR IT, then we'll go to the item screen. Otherwise, we'll go to the home screen and we'll close both of those if statements off. So I'm essentially saying that if my QR code parameter is not blank, so if we've got some data in our QR code parameter, then we'll go to the user screen because that's the one that's related. Or if we've got some data in our IT parameter, then we'll go to the item screen. Otherwise, we'll display the home screen. And maybe on the home screen, we can just place a big button that says, hello. Perfect. What I'll do now is I'll save. I'll close that out. And that will hopefully, within my apps, It took a little while, but I finally have my demo app. And in my demo app, what I've now got the ability to do, because we've saved it and published it, I've got the ability to take a link. This link I can then paste into a new tab for an example. I can use the question mark and I can pass my parameter, QR, for example, equals one. And if I pass my QR one, then what I should get is I should get taken to the user screen with the display name and the job title of Tom Moore. If I take that in, I can see here I've got my Tom Moore, I've got my job title, and I can swap back to the home screen to show that it's actually swapped me screens. Likewise, if I wanted to change this QR into QR IT and I wanted to do two, I may end up with an issue here, to be fair, because the Office 365 is going to load. Yeah, and there's nothing in there to load. But it swapped me over to my item screen, and I've got my item and the status with that, and I can swap back to the home screen if I wanted to. All we'd now need to do to finish that off for our users is find ourselves a QR code generator, I can paste this into the URL and I'll then be given the QR code that I can download um, and place wherever I want it to place. There's free ones here if you wanted to download them. I can just download that QR code as a PNG. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. We're going to try and draw some of these short videos a little bit more um, just to answer some of the scenarios, the common questions that we get asked around the business.